don't touch that, Billy. There's no telling where it's been. <laughs> All right, y'all can see we're up here in the woods around this old cemetery and this old home place. We're going to do a little metal detecting. This place goes back to the uh, early 1800s. Let's see what we can find. We got Kevin brought us up here today. Let's give me a high five. Give me a, give me a thumbs up, Kevin. There you go. This is what we're detecting, detecting around. You see the, see the old house has fallen in years ago. We know it goes back to the mid 19th century, but there's later occupations here too. A lot later, probably up what probably the 1950s. It looks like I ran. Yeah. And uh, you got that bottle on you? Oh, yeah. Let's look at this bottle that Kevin found. Well, we got the camera out. Stick up in here like hair on a dog's back. Looks like it's McMarter's. Yeah. Mac McCarter's? Yeah. It's bitters or something? Yeah, it's a bitter bottle. Got a little damage to the top, but look, it's an old bottle. Man, that's cool as it can be. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the back side. Uh-uh. It's right there. Yeah, that's Looks neat. Like yeah, McCarter's is what it looks like. Yeah. I can't see it. All right. That's still nice though, I mean. Mm -hmm. well, we're gonna get back to digging and see what we can find. Oh, it's hot out here. We wasn't ready out here. Uh, wasn't ready for this heat. I just found the first good, the first good find of the day. And it's a, uh, what'd you say, a utensil for a stove, huh? Yeah. To pick up lids and to pick up Dutch oven lids and stuff, but it's handmade. It, Got a good signal and uh, I just kicked it out from under the leaf litter. But it'll go home with me. Get electrolysized. Randy's cleaning up my find. I'm gonna tell you about it. I got a signal, good signal. Uh, high tone, 79, 80, 81. And it was under these logs. And I rolled them back, and when I did, this hole opened up, and I couldn't find my target anymore. And that target had fallen way down in that hole, and I had to reach down in there and get it. And this is what I came out with. We're pretty. It, it is. It's, it's, it's a hill it's plate. A hill yeah, plate. a hill plate. One of the uh, one of the tacks was in it. Yeah, it, it fell apart when we pulled it's it out. Brass. That brass. is cool. They hit it clean up. There may be some writing or something on there. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, you see the team is starting to come with it drying up now. Yeah. That's cool. Now I'll be it doggone. Beats Kevin's old flashlight and, <laughs> yeah, and the, my and barbed the, wire and nails. And the, uh, uh, yeah, the uh, shotgun the shell. Shotgun All right. Thank you, Randy. Hey, 
Hey everybody, before we move on to the next segment of this video, I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope y'all are doing well. And uh, I want to especially thank Kevin for getting us up here on this property to do some metal detecting today. Uh, seems like everybody had a halfway decent day other than me. Kevin got a nice bottle, a little bitters bottle. Spike ended up with a couple of things. Uh, this next section of this video is something folks may have seen on our Facebook page, Spike's Facebook page. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody in the relic world has got their own bucket list item. And uh, uh, luckily for Spike, he's had a couple bucket list items and found one of them last year with his, uh, with his Morgan Silver Dollar. But uh, a couple weeks back, Spike had the opportunity to hunt a little property. I wasn't with him last day of deer season. Uh, and of course, he went and texted me right uh, at, at zero hour. You know, called me as soon as you get home. And uh, I was glad, glad that I did. Uh, check out this. This is one of those things that, that us metal detectors, we only dream of, and Spike got it. Y'all take care. See you on the next one. Okay, folks, first off, for full disclosure, I want to say that what I'm about to show you, I didn't find today. I found it yesterday, about a half hour before dark. I didn't really know what I had. I took a couple of pictures of it and uh, I started to film it just in case it was something really good. But the battery went dead on my phone and every time I tried to film it would just reboot. So put it in my bag, went to the truck, plugged the phone in, drove home, which is only about a mile from here. And when I got in the driveway, I started doing some research. And I sent some pictures to a friend of ours, Brian Gilliland. Uh, you've seen him in several of our videos. He's our Civil War expert. He confirmed what I thought I had. Every metal detectorist out there and every relic hunter really has uh, bucket list items. And when I started metal detecting, I, I had two right off the bat. Number two was a Morgan Silver Dollar. And number one was a Civil War plate of any kind. Well, I found number two, the Morgan Silver Dollar, about a hundred yards in that direction on this same property a year and a half ago. Number one, the Civil War plate, I didn't think I would ever find, really. I only hoped that I would. I knew on this property there was an old barn that stood right behind me that collapsed 40 or 50 years or so ago, and they had pushed it into a pile. So I've been hunting around here picking up farm implements and stuff like that hoping but not really thinking that this was going to happen folks what i'm about to show you i dug yesterday evening it's i've already got it in a case but i got a couple of pictures that i took with my phone and i'll throw those up there right now so you can see them this is right after it came out of the hole there's a tremendous amount of guilt still left on this thing and uh, it, it dulled up a little when, I, when it dried, but when I cleaned it up, it's still, it's phenomenal. So let's take a look at it now. First, I wanna show you where I dug it without showing you the whole property. This is about three acres in the middle of town where I live. And this hole right here, you can see it right there. This little hole right here. I swung my detector over it and I had a 8284, 8284 on the Garrett AT Pro. Well, I started to dig it and I hit a root and I cut the root out and when I put my pinpointer down in there, I could feel about where it was at in the hole. So I started reaching in there and digging out. When I pulled, when I felt it in my hand and I pulled it out, I had no idea what it was, but let me show you. There it is. That's a Union Civil War Union Officer's sword belt plate. And it is in phenomenal condition. And the reason that I think it is in such good condition is the barn that stood right there till 40 or 50, 30, 40 or 50 years ago. I'm not sure exactly when it fell, but I'm sure this plate was in that barn, hanging up or in a drawer or something somewhere and as they push that barn back here into a pile right there, you can see where they've been cleaning the pile up. When they pushed it into the pile, it ended up right there in the dirt where I came along 
and dug it out. Right there, you can get a better picture. I dug it out February the 15th, 2019, and took care of my number one item on my bucket list. That's just something we wanted to share with y'all.